The Softwire Virus on Orbis 1 is the first of four novels I have coming out through Candlewick Press. Um, the story centers around a boy and a sister who are orphaned in outer space and then sold as slaves to the aliens of Orbis. It's discovered that the boy is the first human soft wire. It's a leap in evolution by a million years. The rings of Orbis, these planet-like rings that make up the system, is controlled by this massive central computer. So the fact that this slave can get in there with just his mind makes him very valuable. So the citizens of Orbis connive and conspire and even kill to own him and his little sister. Orbis is a magnificent and decadent place. And writing about this alien utopian was a lot of fun. But when I wanted to show people what was in here, I, I, had, uh, I had some problems. So I hired some great artists like uh, Stefan Martinier and Igor Knezevic. And uh, they created some characters and some backgrounds. It just really, really, it was just beautiful. It was magnificent. But when I put it all together online to make a, 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 an online experience for my readers, I found that I was uh, falling short when I wanted to mix the art and the words. I wanted people to be able to go from the book and then go online and live the life of Orbis. Well, that's where Crazy Talk came in. The first time that I saw Madame Lee, the villain from the first novel, telling me the story of the Softwire on my computer screen, uh, I knew I had something. Instead of beginning the new and better life he had hoped for, 13-year-old Johnny Turnbull and the rest of the orphans on the seed ship Renaissance will be forced to work as nutniks on the rings of Orbis. Uh, I know some people are going to say, yeah, aliens talk or avatars talk all the time in video games. Yes, but I got my 2D characters talking with just me at the keyboard in under an hour. And I mean, even now when I look at it, I'm still amazed at what I created. JT, as they lovingly call him, will soon discover he has a special gift that allows him to enter any computer with his mind. For he is a soft wire. Crazy Talk is one of my one of my favorite tools now in a toolbox of about 16 programs that I use every day to bring the software to life. It allowed me to create a killer online world, an online experience, and make uh, produce a marketing tool that I believe is truly unique for a novel. I mean, it's not something I've ever seen before. When the central computer on Orbis 1 mysteriously malfunctions, the citizens will point their fingers at the newcomers, especially the Softwire. In this first episode of the Softwire series, newcomer PJ Harzma launches readers into an extraordinary new universe of power, intrigue, and cyber-fueled adventure. Crazy Talk allowed me to add a level of sophistication that I didn't think I could get with my budget or my experience. I go to a lot of these sci-fi cons and I talk about the Softwire and the Rings of Orbis MMO and, and I show people what I've done with Crazy Talk and the Softwire and I always get the same response. Wow. A jaw-dropping wow. 